Maria. These new recruits, they... They expect guidance, and... I feel as though I'm the one in need of guidance. There was some mail for you this morning. Nothing from overseas. Something from Hangzhou. From John McCarthy. Dear Hudson, I have been thinking much about our discussion, your search and my own for what it means to be truly committed to our Lord Jesus. I have found these thoughts in the book you left with me. The Lord Jesus received his holiness begun. The Lord Jesus cherished his holiness advancing the Lord Jesus counted upon as, as never absent, would be holiness complete, abiding, not striving or struggling, but resting in the love of an almighty Savior. May he lead us in the realization of his unsearchable fullness. I have found John 15 especially helpful. John 15, the vine, the branches, oh God, help me, God, show me, abide in me, and I in you. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. I don't strive for faith. I rest in your faithfulness. Oh God. Help me, God. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Clean. Lord, I, I'm clean. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me, Ye can do nothing. Nothing. Myself. But... But in you, Lord, everything. Complete. Clean. And ready to serve you. Not my righteousness, Lord. Yours, not my wisdom, but yours, not my strength. The fullness of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God on my life, the cleansing, the guidance. Oh, Maria, Christ is the vine. He is the soil, the, the roots. The air itself is everything. And we are complete in him. And so it was on the mountaintop. Hudson Taylor found that for which he had so long searched, 
an assured identity with Jesus Christ as his authentic disciple. There would be struggles. The years ahead continued times of learning, discovering successfully how to reach into the heart of China, the China he so devotedly loved, and bring to her people the good news of salvation, the light of eternal hope, a ministry which continues to grow, reaching even today all across Asia as the Overseas Missionary Fellowship. The pioneer exploits of Hudson Taylor and the hundreds of others who became his fellow laborers in the China Inland Mission set a pattern for scores of other faith missions in other areas of the world. There were great victories, and yet the Heavenly Father, who does indeed reserve his very best for those who leave the choice with him, permitted more times of testing, more valleys, more shadows. A common man he was, James Hudson Taylor, the man who dared to believe in the faithfulness of God whatever the test, and who, because he so believed, because he acted upon that belief, became a trusted child through whom his Lord could pour out blessing to many others. So it could be for us, for you, and for me. In a world where so few know what it truly means to trust in the greatness and faithfulness of a sovereign God.